So as Tim Cannon, one of the one of my students, has been working through these wrestles, he's found very interesting ways to learn this from his point of view. And he brought this table to my attention, which I thought was an excellent teaching slash learning tool for you as the students to work through. And so I am adding this tool to the assignment simply for you to use if you wish. So notice um, what we have here is one half, which is equal to 0.5 and decimal, one fourth, 0.25 so on and so forth. Uh, I'm leaving it as an exercise for you to fill in the rest of these. Notice though as we get to the end these are going to be very small decimal point uh, numbers. Anyway, so what Tim has done here is when I give you a binary number like, I don't know, it can be anything, but then once you see the dot then uh, we can have, let's just say that's it. So basically what this means is you have a one uh, here in the halfs place, or the the uh, toots place, if you would, and so that means I have a, a one here, and then we have these zeros, so three zeros, and then we have a one here, so one here, and then two more zeros, zero, zero, and then another one, which is a one here. So then at that point, all you need to do uh, is take the point five. You can think of this as a big mathematical equation, but it's not that hard. Point five times one plus 0.25 times 0, plus 0.125 times 0. So basically the zeros, the zeros make these uh, digits fall out. So basically it's 0.5 plus whatever 132nd is, I'll let you work that out, plus whatever 1256 is, and that will give you the value that comes after this floating point here. So anyway, a neat little table Tim came up with and I thought was useful, so I threw it in there. You can use it if you want or work the answers some other way.